looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my best all-rookie free player from the Fantasy Pack to take. The best 95 overall Black History Month player to take. And opening some of my rewards and packs that I do have, as you guys can see here. I'm going to go through some of them. So, before we get into today's video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, always subscribe. Guys, it's super important to like and comment. So comment down below who's your favorite all rookie player that you're taking. Which Black History Month player did you take if you haven't taken one already? And say what's up and always like the video. Let's get into these first guys. So there's a few players on the block, specifically Edger and James that I want to pull guys. So let's get into some packs here. Let's see if we can get them out of these. There will be Mutt Rewards coming as well today, guys. So make sure you guys are checking that out. Uh, Mutt Rewards can come literally at anytime we never really know what this stuff so don't quote me on it just kind of have to wait and chill now we have a decent amount of fantasy packs here i'm hoping we could pull edger in i've never pulled an ltd in my entire life so you know it would be definitely pretty awesome now, i heard that they don't have an animation so i'm kind of curious to see what it will look like if i do that's a troll <laughs> that's a troll i should title this video that we pulled edger and james that's crazy right what are the odds out of a, out of i'd pull an edger and james base legend um like base legend set piece while asking for him. That's just, that's funny. But anyways, guys, if we could pull him out of this, that'd be crazy. I don't anticipate that we will. You guys know the deal with this, but then we'll get into our rankings. So you guys know the best uh, free player to take Robert Mathis and Trey Burton. Okay. That's actually not too bad out of a fantasy pack. Uh, let's keep going on with this. We have another six packs total. Hopefully, you know, we could try, we could try it out. But anyway, so with the all rookie players, if you guys haven't seen the promo, check out my video from this morning and you will be able to go ahead and actually check out what, uh, what came out today. We have some pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff in the game for the most part. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The all rookie promo was cool. The Edger and James LTD is just absolutely nasty, guys. One of the best LTD cards we've probably gotten all year, especially like in relation to what uh, is going on in the game right now. Like in comparison to some other running backs. That card's elite. Card's an elite back. Going to be one of the glitchiest players in the game. Has about everything you can want in a running back. Definitely just about end game at that point. I mean, obviously things will come out that are better. But he gets all the thresholds. He has the power that, you know, everything card's crazy but oh big big legend flash there we get full legend oh not full legend edger and james 90 overall uh Ed edger and james but in this video we may be able to make uh his uh set legend for uh instead of getting the ltd one but i'm gonna give you guys my rankings pretty soon as soon as we get through these now the cards are pretty good i mean i would probably go with the 96s in my personal opinion just because like you know it is the 96s you know wh why take a 95 especially with a lot of these cards not having power-ups now again these rankings are subject to change because they could get power-ups but if they get power-ups again mo these cards that i'm putting here are just gonna get even better but um i'm definitely excited free card now the solos did look kind of hard uh, from what i saw they were uh they were full games 32 full games now you don't have to play all of them but you have to play a lot of them most of them so it's not exactly going to be the most fun solo sequence justin houston I'm surprised we didn't get more base leads out of that. And then finally, our Good Morning Madden pack, guys. That was that was okay. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't garbage, but, you know, I was kind of hoping for a few more bigger flashes than we possibly had. Oh, Kirk Cousins and Alex An Anzalone. All right, let's get to our rankings. Let's head over to the store. I think Mutt Rewards should be coming through pretty soon for a lot of people, so just make sure you're checking that out. So let's go to quality, 96, 97. I'm only, I'm only doing my top three. My top three, guys, because, again, it's a fantasy pack. You get to choose... In this order, are the exact ones that I would personally take for myself. I know a lot of people don't like linebackers. Personally, I'm I, depending on the guys you have here. So my number three option here on the list is going to be James Robinson. I clicked Patrick Queen. James Robinson, he's actually pretty good. If you guys need a running back, he's not bad at all, considering. And he has a power-up. So James Robinson will get you a 95 speed, 96 excel, 94 agility, 96 carrying, 96 change of direction, powered up with 85 strength. With some decent catching, a really good juke move. That'll be 97 powered up, maybe even 99 with zone run. He's pretty good. He's a really good uh, running back, 80, 96 break tackle, really good running back, and he's going to be free. And personally, if you guys watch football this year or play fantasy football, you probably like James Robinson, or at least were a fan of his in some aspect, right? Had a great undrafted rookie uh, season. He did great. Now, personally, guys, 
The only issue with James Robinson coming at three is that he's not a depth position. And of course, at halfback, you change that quite often. So I want James Robinson at three. Next, Makai Becton. Makai Becton doesn't have a power up. I'm hoping he will get one with Wildcard Wednesday. But the beauty of Makai Becton is that he actually is a left tackle and people hate buying linemen. So you may have even 96 overall lineman for free. He may actually end up being a 97 with the power if they get him one, right? He's a great pass blocker, a great run blocker, great strength. He's six foot seven. He, he's a dog. He's going to be great. Makai Becton, he, yes, he's a left tackle. Yes, he's boring. But again, if you if you don't want a running back, right, like James Robinson, you don't want my first guy, just take the, take the lineman. He's safe. He'll, he'll shore up your blind side. He's got really good stats too, right? He's got 86 Excel and 75 speed for a left tackle, which is phenomenal. He will have 97 impact blocking, which is great. 96 lead blocking, which I don't know how often you're going to use that, but it's great. He's a great, great lineman. I really do like him. And then coming in number one, I want Patrick Queen. Now, yes, he's a linebacker. People don't like linebackers. He's a rookie premier, but he's good. He's good. He's 92 speed, 95 excel, 97 tackle, 92 play rec, 93 block shed, 96 hit power, 90 zone. Now, people may not like linebackers, but that block shed is super good. That hit power is super good. He's going to be able to end the zone. He's going to be able to He's going to be able to play zone. Hit, block, uh, block shed. He's going to be able to tackle. He has good speed, decent height. And if he gets a power-up, it's even better. This card's really, really good. 88 impact blocking. I am a big fan of this Patrick Queen card. Again, if you don't like linebackers, you take Mekhi Becton. If you don't like linemen, you take you take James Robinson. And then if you really don't, guys, some honorable mentions in the 95 range. There's some decent ones. But here's the issue. They all need power-ups. None of these. DeAndre Swift, I personally like James Robinson more because he has a power-up. CD Lamb. Only get to 94 speed, we'll need a power up. Cameron Dantzler needs a power up to get to 95 speed as well. All these cards need power ups. So, in my opinion, I would stick to, uh, oh, and Mikhail Walker's, he's decent. Nothing too great. I would stick to, of course, the, um, the 96 ones. Of course, it's a higher overall, it's free. Take it. Now, let's head over to the Black History Month players to rank those. It's coming at number three for my, the worst one is Ozzie Newsome. Now, why, is, why do I not like him? Simply because, guys, he's a tight end. And this year for tight ends, if you look at speed and route running, right? He gets the route running, he gets the catching, only 90 speed though, no power up. So right now we're looking at 90 to 90, we're looking at between anywhere between 92 and 95 speed for tight ends is what we're looking at. He falls well below that. He has the catching, he has the route running, he has the after the catch. But again, we're focusing primarily right now on speed, speed and route running, of course, and he does not get the speed to match the route running. So again, and being a tight end, you know, you have one, you maybe have two, but for the most part, you're really not utilizing an extra tight end right now. Now, the only good thing about him is that he can actually, I believe, run block, 80 run blocking. So he could be a backup tight end, which is why, you know, he has a use. But I mean, again, I personally wouldn't pick him. Next on the list, we have Doug Williams, quarterback for the Washington football team. Now, the thing with Doug Williams is, is he's a quarterback. His stats actually aren't horrible, but he's a quarterback, right? Now, he has 87 speed, 89 excel, which is good, 88 agility, 87 jumping, 95 throw power, 93 throw short, 92 throw mid, 91 deep. 95 throw on the run, 93 play action, 90 throw under pressure, 83 break sack. Uh, 91 change of direction is actually pretty good, 87 juke. Now, the thing with this card is that going to be, he's not going to get all the abilities you want. He's not going to get everything. If Had he been, he may have been the first option. But again, he's just like the tight end. He's not, he's not really a depth position. He's a quarterback. So you probably you either have a better option already, or if you don't have a better option, you're still kind of struggling here because at the same time, you're probably thinking, okay, well, the thing is, He's a quarterback. He's, he, I might upgrade him very fast, but if you're a, it, these are more budget team options. If you have a budget team, you've been wanting a mobile quarterback that also has a, can get to 99 throw power. Doug Williams would be your guy. Six foot four, good frame. I personally wouldn't take him. I think the best option would be Fritz Pollard. And again, even he's not even that great of an option because he only gets 94 speed. But again, if you want a backup running back or you want a um a what's it called theme team Chicago Bears running back or you just want your budget team and he'll actually be your best guy. He's not bad. 94 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility isn't bad. Low strength, good jumping, 92 jumping, 84 trucking is bad. 93 change of direction is pretty good. Ball carry vision, 90, 90 spin, 95 juke, 95 break tackle. He reminds me like a budget Gale Sayers. And I'm saying that because he's on the Bears, so just reminds me. I saw the logo. But uh, good juking, elusive, you know. But again, he's not going to be the greatest back. 80 catching, though, 81 short running is good. Essentially, guys. Fritz Pollard is just going to be a slightly worse version of the backs that we have out now, right? It's just going to be like a more watered down version of what we kind of expect to see right now. But again, these cards are free, so you can't complain too much. Uh, personally, like I said, I'm not a fan of any of the three cards in terms of stats on a meta team. But again, if you're a budget team, you could probably find a use for all of them. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below and always like the video. Both those things help. Let me know which Black History Month player, the free one that are you taking, and um, which all-rookie player will you be taking. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.